Today I'm here to talk to you about the cowboy hat. But we're going to start off with the geek hat, or the ten typical hat that you most see. This is a good hat for shades your eyes in the summertime. Keeps all those UV rays out of your eyes, directly out of your face. Can anybody see the problem with this hat though, as far as protection goes? You ever notice in the summertime a lot of people wind up with sunburnt ears? Hmm. Bring in. This is the hat everybody has seen me wear in previous videos. The typical sun hat. Notice it provides shade for your face all the way around. It has, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, mesh, see-through mesh in the uh, center of it. I'll begin. Let me put it over the camera so you can see me. Anyway, it's see-through mesh in it. Okay. Great summertime hat. Right. Of course, it's not going to give you no waterproofness or nothing during the rain, but it's mainly for shade. Mostly cotton shade hat. Now, if you fold it up like this, it would look like what? Ah, oh, the cowboy hat. <laughs> Uh, this is the only difference between a sun hat and a cowboy hat is a few creases and folds. So now that I've brought you into that part, summertime, you will notice, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, anyway, there's holes all the way around the top. If you get a summertime cowboy hat, I highly recommend you get the ones that have holes all the way around. You can see this is just a cheap uh, hat. Um, I think you can get these for about 30, I'm going to say 30 to 40 bucks, somewhere in there. Yes, and you can tear them up by crushing them. Crushing these is not good for them. But, as you can see, it does give you sideways protection. There is a little flat piece in here before it curls up. And as far as the ball cap goes, it gives more in the front and the back. So it also protects your neck from a sunburn. So yes, this is better than this. This hat is made for advertising other people's businesses. Imagine, you know, usually they sell it to you. You're advertising for somebody else and yet you have to buy their hat. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so there's the summertime hat. Usually made out of straw. I think you can get some made out of canvas. But it's winter time now. This is where we get more in depth in the cowboy hat. It comes in. Okay, this is in my price range type hat. <laughs> it's called a wool felt hat. You can get these online for about 75 bucks. I would have showed you my old one that like these last you about eight, seven or eight years. So that being the case, they're cost about seven dollars a year. <laughs> my old one lasted about seven years before I finally had to replace it. Now, for you people that have more money, I got uh, the people at Smith Built. I want to put a shout out to Smith Built Hats. They sent me some different types of materials here so I could talk about. Them. What I have on my head right now is, uh, let me get it in the camera, 100% wool felt. I don't know if the camera will focus. Let me get my hand up here so it will focus. Focus, focus, focus. And you can see the difference in that. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to pull up my manual focus control here so I can, uh, there we go. Okay, see that? That is wool felt. All right, now I'm going to pull up one that is the next step up in quality, which is, believe it or not, rabbit fur felt. That's right, they made the felt out of rabbit fur. So that is a step up. And you can see the difference. Let me put it side by side. Okay, there's the wool felt. 
get it lined up here. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Okay, so you can see uh, the rabbit fur is a lot thinner and it is somewhat stiffer. It takes only this much. Let me unfocus here. It takes only this much rabbit felt to equal the stiffness of this much wool felt. Of course, the wool felt, if you're looking for warmth, I'm going to give wool felt still tops, but the rabbit felt will be lighter and uh, hold its shape longer. Now, here's here's the, the creme de la creme. We get the focus down. Uh, focus, 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 focus. Whoops. Uh, focus. I'm sorry, right, sit down. Beaver fur felt. A hat made out of this runs about eight hundred dollars. Needless to say, unless somebody feels really generous out there, I will never own a beaver fur felt hat. But this is a beaver. Oh, by the way, just in case somebody feels generous, I wear a size seven and a quarter in a Stetson. Stetson size seven and a quarter. I don't know what this company's size would be, but I can't afford them. But I can, they give me these little patches here for free so I can talk about them. Now we can see the difference. Let me get the focus up here and get them side by side. This is... Okay. Let me focus it here for y'all. All right, I don't know if you're picking that up. All right, there we go. There's a difference. We'll go side by side. All right, so the I can tell you from feel that this is a much stiffer felt. The beaver is a lot stiffer than even the rabbit fur. So it's going to hold its shape better. It's a lot tighter weave. How it, that, that's how you put it. It's very tight. The fur is thinner than rabbit. So it packs tighter. So yes. <sighs> smells like money to me. Needless to say, uh, and this is from Smith Built, and they are a Canadian company. If you want to know how I found out about Smith Built hats, it was from the show Heartland. <laughs> but anyway, wool felt. Okay, this is the poor man stuff, and this is what the vast majority of hats are. That's what this is, wool felt. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, Stetson puts certain percentages of beaver in their hats, and it, it is the goes by the X factor. And a 3X being... 100% wool. So a, a 4X hat would be 10% beaver, uh, 5X would be 20%, and so on. That's the way I think it was described to me. But anyway, uh, my hat's just going to have to say bad. Uh, and I'll let uh, some of you rich oil guys go out there and buy the beaver skin hat. So so now when somebody goes up to you say, yeah, look at my hat, isn't it cool? Look inside of it and see if it's a, a beaver skin. If it's beaver skin, it's kind of like the Rolex of cowboy hats. But back to the utilitarian part of it. As you'll notice, even in the wintertime, you still have lots of UV on those bright sunny days. It shades your ears. Or you got ear shading. you got more front to back than a standard typical hat. Let me put this brim on here so you can see the brim. The brim is that much further than a standard, uh, what do you call it, uh, ball cap. It's got, uh, you know, probably, what, about a half inch more brim? So next time you think such stupid as somebody wearing a cowboy hat and you're wearing a ball cap, you might, you might think be, when you're pointing that finger that there's three more fingers pointing right back at you. So, the cowboy hat is a very utilitarian hat. So, uh, 
If you want to consider one, consider two. Like I said, um, straw hat, summer, with make sure you got holes in it. Holes all the way around for breathability. Also, you want a light color. Light colors reflect sunlight. And in the wintertime, wool, beaver, or fur felt for the winter, which would of course you know keep in the heat from your head so ventilate summer uh, wool or fur felt winter that's your lesson for hats today